Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial for Drupal for beginners. Today I'm going to show you how to use FCK Editor. Now FCK Editor is a rich text editor and what a rich text editor is, is an editor that allows you to input images, uh, embed videos, uh, embed images from other websites, uh, flash videos and you know, just basically uh, make your page seem a little fancy, alright? And the best thing is that you don't need to know how to write any code in order to do this, all right? Well, if you know a little bit of code, it would help, but uh, you don't really need to know any coding. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, under your username, type in your administrator username, and then under password, type in your administrator password, and click on Login. All right, for example, let's say we wanted to create a page uh, that had pictures. Uh, I'm going to choose the cars page. I like your cars as a comment. Uh, and this particular page uh, doesn't actually say anything. Uh, if you viewed my previous tutorial, I will show you how you can actually create uh, buttons like this as well as the uh, content that will link to these buttons. All right. So right now, you can see that the uh, FCK editor is appearing. That's li this little box here. And there's a whole list of options that you can uh, use. All right. Uh, if this box does not appear, it could be because full HTML has not been selected, all right? So if we go to create content, cr click on page, you can see that the box is not here. Okay, now if the box is not here, just go to input format, choose full HTML, and the box will appear. The reason why the box was appearing earlier on under cars was because this page has already been edited uh, using FCK editor previously that's why it's already appearing all right so uh, just to run through uh, some of the options here you can pretty much guess what it's for uh, bold italic underline this is the alignment uh, source uh, is basically um, the source code for the page this is where you can see all the coding that's inputted into the page all right uh, this is uh, known as uh, insert edit link this is how you hyperlink text and images to other uh, web pages that could be in your website could be a sub page or it could be a, a web page in another website all right uh, this is paste uh, this is uh, paste as plain text so for example if you typed something in notepad and you wanted to paste it into uh, your rich text editor you would need to click on this paste as plain text this would be uh, paste from word that means that if you have any text from word that you want to paste in here you need to click on this all right you got a couple of options for fonts uh, size uh, what do you want the style to be okay so there are a couple of styles here that you could choose from uh, this is to insert or edit flash video uh, this is a uh, spell checking and uh, this is a smiley face that you can input. So you can choose a couple of smileys here, all right, if you're you know, in the mood for smileys. Okay, so uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to uh, input an image, all right? So very simple. Click on the Insert Edit Image. You'll come to this page, all right? Now, if you've configured your uh, Drupal website correctly, you should have a browse server option here. Okay, if you don't, it has to do with your configuration and that's a completely different tutorial, all right? So assuming that you do have the browse server option, click on that. You'll then come to this page, okay? In this page, this is where you handled all the files that have been uploaded to your server, all right? So let's say you want to upload a picture, click on upload. You can then get this option, click on browse, and then you'll browse your CPU, okay? So, uh, there could be a file that you want to upload. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to upload this picture of Shrek. Okay, Shrek Forever After, which is a pretty funny movie, all right? Let's say I wanted to upload this. I would click on the picture, click on Open, and then hit the Upload button. Now, I have already uploaded this picture earlier on, so it says that's a little time for this tutorial, all right? So, once you have the picture that you want, click on Send to FCK Editor. And this will appear here and when you click somewhere else you can see that the picture is already been embedded into your uh, FCK editor and this shows you sort of like a preview of what it will look like uh, with text all right so let's say for example this is a little too big uh, I want to reduce it a little bit so 
you can actually change the size of the picture here all right so you can make it smaller if you want and you can also change certain attributes about the picture for example if you want to give it a border let's give it a border of two pixels okay so now the picture has a border all right and let's say you want it to be aligned to the left so that the text wraps around the picture which makes it look slightly nicer left there you go it wraps around the picture just like that click on OK so since we have no text so nothing is going to wrap around right but let's say we type something and blah 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 you can see that it will wrap around the picture all right it won't appear at the bottom so let's say you want to insert another picture here do the same thing browse server upload Browse your server, choose the picture that you want. In this case, I've already uploaded the picture. It's here. All right, this is the picture that I want. Send to FCK editor. And when you click somewhere else, you can see that the picture has already been embedded. And again, I'm gonna change the size. I'm gonna give it a border of maybe, let's say five. Let's make it a little thicker. Align it to the left. And you can see that the picture appears here. All right, so then you can type some text explaining what's it all about or you could even uh, send it to the other side so right click on it right click on it and you'll get this option image properties click on that and you can change the alignment to the right for example so now it's over here okay and you can even make all of this text uh, closer to the picture okay if you like so you can change the uh, alignment of the text so it can move over here. So this is a, a couple of ways that you can actually manipulate the page without writing a single line of code. Okay, so picture, this is what your page will look like. All right, so it's a pretty powerful, pretty uh, user-friendly editor. Uh, again, for example, if you want to make it bold or if you want to make this uh, underlined or make this uh, italic, all right, that's how you would do it, okay? And if you made a mistake, you can always undo it. Okay, undo it. So or redo it. Okay. All right. So let's say uh, we're kind of happy with this. Uh, we want to change the font for this. For example, let's change it to Comic Sans. Okay. So this font has changed. Uh, we want this size to be maybe bigger and medium. So you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do to the text. And uh, if you save it. saving and there you go this is your page okay with uh, the relevant text and effects to the text and uh, pictures aligned accordingly so this is what your page will look like now let's say you wanted to manipulate this page a little more all right now what you saw early on was actually the source code so if you wanted this page to appear this way and you wanted to write it in code you would have to write it like this so if you click on source code, you can see this is what the code actually looks like, all right? But because you're using FCK editor, it does the coding for you. So you don't actually need to know how to code. Isn't that cool? All right.